How's it going on YouTube? So, little job today. Just got to weld these fittings onto this rock cover. It's off an AU Falcon. It's doing a turbo conversion. It's going in an XF from what I believe. You know, yeah, so we've got to weld these on. Uh, and then he wants these fittings welded on the fuel rail. And he just wants all this, the reg and that deleted. Um, and yeah, more or less capped up. Uh, yeah, that's about it really. Pretty easy one. I'll have to, um, unfortunately it's not that clean underneath here, so I might have to give it a bit of a clean. See how we go anyway. Being cast alloy, it might not be. Yeah, it's never a good thing to weld, but, but we'll give it a bit of a go. Yeah, anyway, let's uh, put you on time lapse. Cool. So we finished the welding. Uh, it didn't turn out too bad. Not bad. I mean, it is cast aluminium. I put the start and stop on the back. This one was a bit of a pain. It's okay. Could have welded a bit nicer, but a lot of the trash was coming up through the underside. But to get in the back here was quite a pain. I ended up putting a 15 cup on, sticking the tungsten out about an inch. Turned the frequency right up, so narrowed the arc up, and just, you know, just slowly fed in there, um, because obviously the fitting still got to be able to get on that. So it, it and it does. I'll just grab an old one. So right. So as you can see, still plenty of room, which is good. So and. Yeah, if anyone's ever used or done aluminium TIG, you know how much the arc wants to just jump across to the thing that's closest. So that's and then it just ruin your day. So you can imagine what those threads would have looked like if the arc had jumped across. So, but yeah, look, it didn't turn out too bad. Could be better. Always learning. So, yeah, forty forty three filler. Um, uh, sixty five percent balance. Dash seven cup for the, well, number seven cup for the most part, and a gas lens. Yeah, now we'll just finish off the, well, start the rail, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I mean, like I said, the welds aren't perfect, but yeah, I'm a fitter and turner. I'm not a not a boiler maker, so I say that's not too bad. I've only been welding aluminium for about a year and a half, so, well, so yeah. Wouldn't say it's too bad. I mean, there's some practice times. I mean, they're all right. Yeah. In other words, I can glue two bits of steel together. That, that's for sure. Yeah. All right. We'll do the fuel rail. Cool. So we finished welding out the AU rail. So I've cut off the brackets as Lockie wanted. So that's all of them there. Now, and then we had to blank it off, which is there. And you can just see it here. Oh, here there it is. Just see it there. Then I sort of burred it out a little bit just to make it nice and smooth on the inside. Then purged it and welded the dash eight bungs on. So, didn't turn out too bad. I mean, yeah, they'll, they'll hold. Could be a little nicer, but yeah, you know, I suppose I'm welding thick to thin. 
use 309L as filler because these were stainless and I imagine that's just mild steel. So, yeah. Um, yeah, about 110 amps on the foot pedal. Didn't use it all. But, yeah, no, it turned out all right. And so, yeah, we'll give him back the rock and cover in that tomorrow. And uh, a little bit of cash my way. So, so, yeah, if you like what you see, like and subscribe, comment, leave a comment if you want. Uh, yeah, I'll do some more videos, I guess. Yeah, try and get right into this YouTube thing. Yeah. All right, I'll catch you on the next one.